Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of The Freak Show. I am Ringmaster Jeffrey with Esports Circus. Check out esportscircus.com. We are a mobile esports venue that's going to rove around the United States doing collegiate esports challenges to colleges. Check us out, esportscircus.com. We are here at the, at the super fabulous esports business summit here at the MGM uh, Convention Center in Las Vegas. And we, I wanted to have one of my final uh, interviews to be my good friends over at Black Box. Hey, and I got Jonathan from Black Box to join me. Hi, Jonathan. Hey, great. How you doing? Doing great. So Black Box, Black, I, you know, I, we've been an integrator for a lot of years. We know Black Box is one of the leaders in rack systems, uh, distance-based KVM systems, IP systems, uh, you know, all the technology. Uh, so tell me a little about Black Box more than I told. Yeah, so the one thing you miss is the thing that most people don't know us for, which is AV. AV, right? absolutely. So, you know, Black Box has been in AV for about 15, 20 years. Primarily, it started w primarily with VGA conversion, right, yeah, in the right? extension. So what Black Box has done for 40 years has been connect disparate platforms and challenging environments, right? So, yeah. and that new challenging environment is network connectivity, right? So right. video on the, on the network. And in the esports world, it's really um, c connecting the technology to the audience. Right okay. in, in a live in a live in a live event. So uh, we launched a new product um, about six months ago called MCX. It's, MCX. Uh, MCX. Yep. And um, MCX is a 10 gig solution utilizing okay. software defined video over Ethernet. That's okay. The BOE. So, um, and what that allows us to do is to kind of bypass bypass the codec triangle of you know yeah. you, where you, your goal is to have low bandwidth, high quality. And, and low latency video all in one pipe. Well, with a one gig solution, you really can't get all that without compressing the crap out of the video. Um, and, it, and you still have latency issues. So we can get 4K 60 content with 20 microseconds of latency uh, over a 10 gig network and extend that with, with that zero latency. So uh, we were showing this here. We also have a number of other solutions like digital signage. And we've digital signage is big with, with Black Box. I know that. We do, you do a lot of digital yep. signage systems. And, and it's a great fit for this market because you know, within the, this, this, this whole category is driven off of sponsorships and engagements and activations. This allows that, that, that level that we see at the, at the large national and worldwide level really to be scaled down to the regional and local level right. with, with, with that real-time advertising as well. Absolutely, so. and digital sign is great. If, if you're an eSports uh, or if you're an eSports company and you want to do a venue and you want to pipe out uh, certain things, you can have 50 monitors and you can say, these 10 monitors are going to have this message, these 10 monitors are going to have this message, and then all the monitors are going to have this message on it, and it allows you to control all that techno all the message and technology. It, it, exactly, and we can do it, with, like, like most people can, scheduling it, but we also can do a lot of unscheduled content. So yeah. we can actually, if you have a, a deployment that has 500 screens, and yeah. you want to uh, you want to publish, and you sell an ad halfway through the event, right, and that ad needs to be published during the event, and you can publish it in real time to all playlists, all screens, at, at, on within the cycle that you want it to be. Wow! And you can also narrow it down all the way down to one screen or one zone of yeah. updates in real time. We also can do some really cool things like audience tracking with with our digital okay. science solution. So uh, we we work with a number of third parties like Qvity for facial recognition and other a number of others that can actually measure audience reactions yeah. to things, and you can measure demographics and. And, and effectiveness of not just the signage, but of the content that's being played and, and synchronized across the entire venue. That's very cool. Are you guys getting in the 2110 business? Uh, we are. Uh, we, in fact, we're already there with our Emerald, within the Emerald uh, platform, uh, but we're, uh, or sorry, within our KVM platforms, but we're. Right. So uh, 20, just tells you, you know, 2110 is a SMPTE, 2110 Society Motion Picture and Engineers Standards, because 2110 is, which is IP broadcasting, and it, it's, uh, you know, everything over an IP signal and controllable, and it's that, that that's what it is. So that's, it, that's, which is the future of where broadcasting is yeah, going. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. We see, we see that need, so we're moving that direction with, uh, with the KVM platforms and also in the video extension world as well for broadcast right. broadcast and live event cool and then you do distance-based KVM systems I know that we, we do we, yeah. we definitely do so um, we have a whole a, a whole a wide range of KVM it's actually the largest part of our business uh, we about a year ago year and a half ago we launched the Emerald platform yes uh, it was first in, it was the first in class best in class KVM over IP solution yeah allows you to do a lot of great things like access virtual networks and virtual machines uh, as well as a whole host of other things I, that I'm not qualified to tell you about. Right. <laughs> but so the, the, the benefit, one of the big benefits of uh, 
uh, of KV, this makes KVM systems for different platforms. We, you know, we do a lot of our post facilities where they take mm -hmm. all the all their editing systems and put them in machine rooms. That way, no one can f mess with the <laughs> right mess with the systems. And they, but for the esports, you know, uh, one of the things that I see is a big problem is they, they have a lot of problems taking the computers out of a truck, taking the computers from the truck, setting them up on the consoles plugging them in, making sure everything works. Oh, this computer has this problem, this computer has that problem. Yep. Setting them up, then the computers are out there, people can mess with them, people can break them, all that stuff. So if, you take, if, you're, at, if you're an eSports venture, take all the computers, you keep them in your machine room, then you, say, well, then you have one IP line, or Ethernet line, uh, that goes, or fiber line, depending on what it is, exactly. and then you go right to the workstation where you have a keyboard, a mouse, and monitor, and that's all there's on there, and then the gamer can go out and play, and it becomes rock solid, easy to set up, because everything is working from day one. So, that's I think that's an incredible, uh, really cool thing for for e for esports, which is what we're going to do with the esports circus. Mm -hmm. We're going to have all the gaming computers in the truck, and it's not and, it's, and there's not going to be a, a system out there. There's only going to be a monitor and keyboard and mouse. Right. Exactly. And that's that's where the future of this is going to go. Right? Yeah. So, and that's why with, with even with uh, MCX, which we do have USB capability as well within yeah. MCX, because because of the the latency aspect, it is best in class as far as the latency for keyboard, video, mouse. Uh, we see that if you have a back rack, you know, back rack or in the truck, you know, yeah. uh, a back haul there, uh, that you extend that out, and then you just have a, a light setup, right? And you can focus on the engagement as opposed to a, a you know. A three days of setup for for an event. Absolutely, you guys have been around a long time, right? Well, about forty two years. Forty two years. I, I thought it was forty seven. <laughs> oh, yeah, who knows? <laughs> who knows? But yeah, that's great. So, uh, and 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 you, why? So why did you come to the esports business summit? What 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 what, in, what, is, what made the, what made that choice for you guys to come out? Of? You know, it was really a, a logical opportunity. We've been investigating esports for a number of years now. Uh, yeah. For probably two three years uh, where it was really actively being engaged in. And we have a, a few customers in that in the space already. Uh, and as we, as we launched a couple of products that had real viability with the, and, and it, they served a purpose and solved a problem in the esports market, we said, look, this is where we want to be. No one's really serving it. Everyone's just kind of saying, oh yeah, you, it's just apply this square peg to this round hole, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, and that's what all of our competitors are doing. And w we specifically targeted a lot of these applications and problems with this product and some others. Yeah. And we see it as really the future of where uh, some opportunity of where growth opportunities are in the hospitality and live right. events market. That's great. They can only they, look. Football can only get so much bigger, and you know this. This is wide open, wide open, and it's a place for us to define with the industry. And we want. Right. To, we're, we're here to stake our claim on that industry. I know. Well, so football is 16 weeks. Uh, Esports exactly. is 52 weeks. Exactly. And, and and beyond that, you know, there's you know, hospitality hit a. A snag, right? So hospitality hit a, a, a smoothing of its growth over the past couple of years, and esports is actually providing the, the the growth that it is receiving. Yeah. And we see a lot of opportunities in in, in new ideas, right? So when, you know, land centers are, are one thing, but the idea of esports cafes, esports bars, right? So we begin yeah. as as the industry ages up. There's going to be another, another category of customer yeah. uh, with a lot more use cases, and we want to be there with it to to help bridge that gap uh, from an innovative standpoint. Well, that's very cool. Well, thank you so much for joining me on my, my pleasure. show. Absolutely. So we want to do this product yeah, here. Was, yeah, that's MCX. That's the MCX. So check yep. that out. Um, they can uh, check out blackbox.com slash MCX for more information. Check that out. That's a, that's a nice, hefty piece of thing. And it's a half rack, right? That's a half rack. Uh, we also have a slightly larger version that has DisplayPort and HDMI, as well as uh, dual network connectivity. So okay. you can do fiber and copper connectivity for redundancy or for interoperability. As very, well. very cool. OK. Well, thank you so much for joining me on the my Freak pleasure. Show here. We love having you. Thank you. All of, my, all of my cool vendors that we work with, we work with Blackbox for many years. Uh, under Advantage Video Systems, Advantage Video, Advantage Video Systems .com. Check us out as well. Um, this is Jeff Stansfield, Ringmaster Jeffrey from The Freak Show, brought to you by eSportsCircus.com. Thanks a lot for joining us. Thanks.